In the last video, we looked at finding the value of A given a probability. We did that by using the standard normal tables. In this video, we're going to do something similar, but use the percentage points table. The percentage points table gives us the probability of Z, which is our continuous random variable, being greater than some observed value of Z, and that's given as P. What we're going to do is use that and find the value of A from those. So what, in the first question, it says the probability that Z is between 0 and A is equal to 0 0.1. So let's draw this up. What we're going to have here is this scenario. So let's grab a line. Let's grab that one. White wasn't really working on white, uh, which you can probably imagine. This sliver right here is given to have an area or probability of 0 0.1. We need to find the value here, which is given to be A. This is really no good to 0 0.1. The table that we're going to look at, the percentage points table, gives us the area trapped under the curve to the right of A. If we consider what that area is, it's going to be 1 half minus 0 0.1. We know the total area trapped under the curve to the right of 0 is 1 half. Therefore, this right here is going to give us now 0 0.4. All we're going to do is look this up in the table now and find the value of A. So let's go to our table. And here's 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 is just there. So we can say this is 0 0.2533. So let's put that on. So we've got now 0 0.2533. So this is the value of A just here. And we can just place that on. So all we're doing now is using a bit of logic. If we know now the area that we've been given is this one. We know the total area to the right of 0 is 1 half. We simply subtract this value away and then go and look this up in our tables. OK, let's do the next one. Uh, the probability now that Z is between 0 and A is 0 0.35. So let's put this up and it'll look something like so. So we've got these two lines and we've got the area trapped under the curve between these two values is given to be 0 0.35. So here's A and this is our area right here. So this is 0 0.35. Again, this won't be in our tables. What will be in our tables, though, is the area trapped under the curve to the right of A. And that right here is going to be 1 half minus 0 0.35, which is going to give us 0 0.15. So all we need to do now is look this up in our table, and this will give us the value of A. So essentially what we're saying here is the probability that Z, a continuous random variable, is greater than the observed value of A is 0 0.15. So all we're going to do is look that up and find the value of A. So where are we? Here we go. 0 0.15. So all we do is read this off and that's going to give us 1.0364. So we're going to have now here A 1.0364. Three, six, four. So nice and straightforward. All we're doing is using a bit of logic to find that. OK, let's look now at the next one. What we've got then is the probability that Z is between negative and positive A is equal to 0 0.8. If we consider that area is going to be symmetric. The way I like to think about this now is as follows. If we look at this right here, we're going to have some line here and we're going to have some line here. We know that if the area trapped under the curve now between these two is going to be 0 0.8, this is going to be 0 0.4, and this is going to be 0 0.4. If I label this one A, we know that our percentage points table will give me the area trapped under the curve to the right of A. And what I'll do is just look at this value. This value right here must be now 0 0.1, as the total area trapped under the curve to right to 0 is 0 0.5. So let's go and look up 0 0.1 in the table. And 0 0.1 in the table will give us this value here. Be very careful that you're not putting 0 0.01 or 0 0.001. So all we're going to do now is find this value. So 1.2816. So what we're going to do is put this here. So 1.2816. Okay, so fairly logical, fairly straightforward. Let's do the last one. The probability now that Z is between negative and positive A is going to be 0 0.4. So all we're going to do then is just load this up. What we're going to have then, just here, uh, not really symmetric. Let's kind of do a better job of it. 
uh, that looks slightly better. So what we've got now is an area and we can place our area just here. This is going to be 0 0.2 and this is going to be 0 0.2. We're symmetric about 0, so this is going to be minus A, this is going to be A. We know our table, so our percentage points table, will give us the area trapped under the curve to the right of A. So all I'm doing is looking at this value, and that value right there, so the probability now that Z is greater than A is going to give us now 0 0.3. We know all of this area trapped under the curve to the right of 0 is half, so it's going to be 0 0.3. So let's look it up, and 0 0.3 is going to be just here. Okay, there's 0 0.3. That gives me my area or my probability, and what we could say is that's 30%. So 0 0.5244. So from here, 0, so we've got now 0 0.5244. So 5244 looks good. Uh, there we go. It's all done. So using percentage points table to find the value of A given a probability.